So I work in the ER as a PA, and very frequently we have people come in with shortness of breath. It's the third most common reason for people coming into the ER. And one of the things that causes that is an asthma attack. And so when these people come in with an asthma attack, you know, they're wheezing, they can't catch their breath, and, and they look pretty miserable. And maybe you've experienced that, maybe that's why you're watching this video. But in any event, I'm gonna explain a couple reasons in this video, I'll explain two reasons why fasting can very likely help you reduce your chance of getting asthma attacks so you won't have them as often. So reason number one is inflammation. So asthma is basically caused by inflammation and is excess inflammation, particularly in the lungs, in the airways. And so sometimes, you know, that, that inflammation kind of waxes and wanes, sometimes it gets worse, sometimes it gets better. And so when it gets worse, obviously that's when somebody has a flare up or an attack. So fasting tends to reduce inflammation and so does ketosis. So if you're on a ketogenic diet, that tends to reduce inflammation. They're both pretty good at reducing inflammation. And so if you do some fasting, you'll probably reduce the amount of inflammation in your body, especially if you do it on a regular basis and be less likely to have asthma attacks. Um, on the, in contrast, if you eat a lot of processed food, a lot of sugar, high blood sugar increases inflammation. And so the higher your blood sugar or the closer you get to having diabetes, probably the more likely you are to have frequent asthma flare-ups. So that's reason number one, inflammation in general. So here's reason number two. So asthma is associated with a lot of inflammation and it's not exactly considered, like technically not considered an autoimmune condition, but it's pretty similar. There's a lot of like overlap in terms of the body's immune system getting overactive in a specific area of the body. Um, and so even though it's not technically an autoimmune condition, fasting, extended fasting in particular, has been shown to improve autoimmune sy symptoms by kind of resetting the immune system. So after a few days or more of fasting, a lot of your white blood cells, which is your immune system, get, get kind of broken down and recycled. And then your stem cells get ramped up. And when you start eating again, your immune system kind of gets rebuilt from the ground up. Not 100%, but a certain percentage of it gets rebuilt. And so it makes sense that if you have an inflammatory condition like asthma, there's a pretty good chance it could also improve from extended fasting for some of the same reasons. So this isn't proven through research. The first one that I mentioned, like the inflammation thing has been researched, but this isn't proven through research, but it also makes sense. And extended fasting is also even better at reducing inflammation versus just a short fast. So I have a, a podcast episode where I talked about benefits of extended fasting, one of which was related to autoimmune conditions, and that's podcast episode number 12, I think, so I'll put a link to it in the, sh in the uh, video description in case you want to check that out. So none of this is guaranteed to completely get rid of your asthma attacks, but um, if you practice fasting and other healthy lifestyle changes, there's a good chance you can at least reduce the frequency. So it's worth a try, right? And if you're a beginner, if you're not sure how to start with intermittent fasting, here's a video where I explain the easiest way to start intermittent fasting from the very beginning. So you can go ahead and check that out and see how to do it. I'll explain exactly what to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.